I've done a lot of spaceships before in Blender, but never a realistic one that would actually fit into our reality. With this goal in mind, I looked through some movies but also images of the ISS for reference. These images I put into a program called PureRef, which I then had open on my second monitor while modeling. I started by blocking in the main shapes. My goal was to find the overall look of the spaceship, not going into too much detail. My main inspiration I took from the movie The Martian. The spaceship there looked a lot like I wanted mine to look. So I added the necessary elements like solar panels and a cockpit. A lot of spaceships from sci-fi movies have these spherical balls. My guess is that there are some sort of tanks storing water or other fluids. So I added them as well using an icosphere and a wireframe modifier. Not sure if this makes sense, but for some reason I imagined my ship with some cargo containers. So I added them. I then continued blocking in the rest of the ship. For some thinner elements I used a row of vertices with a skin modifier. To get some interesting and complex details fast, I used a wireframe modifier on a triangulated mesh. Similar to popular sci-fi movies, I wanted to have this rotating ring which would generate some gravity for the people inside. If you want to support me and my work, consider checking out my Gumroad store. Link in the description. If you want to create planets in seconds, then my custom planet add-on might be for you. If you want to create Star Wars inspired spaceships, then check out my spaceship modeling kit. If you want to create medieval fantasy cities, I also have a kit for that. If you need anything specific, I'm currently open for freelance work, just shoot me a message and we can talk about it. Now back to the video. With the main shapes in place, I started adding a texture to the containers. For that I used an image of actual containers. Using the cube projection method I gave them some UVs and placed them on the texture. I then added an HDRI and a sunlight to get some interesting lighting. For the solar panels I found a nice PBR texture set on textures.com. Adding them to this flat plane was as easy as you would expect. All the rest I gave another material using an image of a navy ship as texture. I again used cube projection to quickly unwrap the whole model. Then sliding parts of the UVs around to find some happy accidents. By using an image of an already detailed thing, I could give the illusion of detail without actually modeling it. Once I had the texture I liked, I then went in and added some extra geometry based on that. It does not have to be super detailed, but adding simple extrusions will help immensely once you add some lights. For this gravity ring, I wanted to have some tra trapezoidal, trapezoidal windows. Trapezid, trapezoidal. Trapezoidal. For this gravity ring, I wanted to have some sci-fi windows. This was a bit tricky in the beginning, but I quickly found a way that worked. I gave each window two panes, which I assigned a glass shader on. After that, I continued by adding some additional details inspired by my reference images. Most of the spaceship at this stage consisted out of the same tube element, duplicated and scaled all around. So I took the time to detail it a bit more. 
Again, I first slid the UVs onto different parts of the image until I found something good. Then I added some simple extrusions based on that. This same procedure I did for other parts of the spaceship as well. For the spherical tanks I made a duplicate of the main material, which I tinted orange. Next up I loaded the main material onto a flat plane and started cutting out an interesting and complex looking shape I probably would not have come up with myself. I did not at all worry about the topology as long as the shape would hold. This detail I then started duplicating around, each time scaling and mirroring it to avoid obvious repetition. I also gave each container a different part of the texture to get some variation. As you can see, I reused the same detail over and over again. To detail the solar panels I used the same techniques as before, first modeling some basic shapes. Then using the texture to fake some overall details. Lastly I again used this one detail to make it actually look complex. In other areas I used a wireframe modifier combined with a triangulate modifier to generate some quick details. After that I again went back to the tube element to detail it some more. Here I used the insert extrude function to create some individual panels. To create some additional detail, I put a wireframe cage around the element. Not sure how realistic this is, but it looked cool. I knew that this would help break up the silhouette and hopefully catch the light in a cool way.
To get some more details, I started modeling individual details I later could use on the whole spaceship. For these, I used the same technique as before. The inspiration for them I of course took from my reference images. With a few of these done, I then placed them wherever made sense, again scaling and rotating them to avoid obvious repetition. I also added some more individual details to specific parts of the model based on my reference images. Since I wasn't happy with the overall shape of the spaceship, I rearranged some of the bigger elements. For the final render, I rotated the solar panels so that they would reflect some of the spaceship, which made it look more interesting. What I learned from this whole project in particular is, that you don't need fancy modeling tricks or complex materials to create something complex looking. Most of the tricks and tools I use is stuff you probably learn in your first month of getting into Blender. Like extruding, UVing, basic materials and so on. It is just combining these things into something cool looking that takes a bit of experience. 